shit, eh? Probably help if I can put my legs underneath. Hey folks, how you doing? It's Mike here. Uh, with a special news bulletin from the 909 channel. So first of all, first and foremost, today I have with me some bubblegum shatter. Bubblegum. So I'm going to do a couple tokes and I'm going to talk about some things, some topics here. So let's get started. So guys, uh, yeah, I did say I was changing the content and yeah, I am changing, as you can tell, trying a few different things out. It's not, uh, it's not going to change us entirely as a round, as a whole of who we are. It's just, uh, just trying things out, see where it goes, right? I took a little bit of acting, you know, I did a little bit of this and that when I was younger, so I always loved acting. So you probably see me coming in and out of character quite a bit. Yeah, I do watch a lot of McJuggernuggets. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, hopefully I can do a collab with him in the near future sometime. But uh, as for uh, buddy robbing my house or trying to attempt to rob my house, we do have information on where he is, so... We'll be catching up with him sooner or later, in the next couple days, hopefully, if I can find the prick. I just want to know where he's getting all his information. It just seems kind of funny, and why would, out of all people, rob somebody nice like me, you know what I mean? Don't get it. I'd give him the shirt off the back of the last shirt I had. But that's people for you nowadays. Yeah. Tasty. When I do it, hate the little book. My little tool there is uh it's hard to work with. It's so small. Sometimes I'm klutzy and I'll <coughs> get rammy and I'll lose the nail, which is very significant to this bong because that's how it works. Right? That nail. Let's not do that again, Mike. <coughs> so that's pretty tasty bubble gum hashes right there. That's pretty good. So stay, stay subbed if you are, please and thank you, because I can guarantee you good content no matter what. I will put my heart and soul into every dang video we do. I can guarantee you. And with me saying that, I hope uh, people don't judge me for changing the name of the channel. And I am going to explain that too here. The reason I changed the name of the channel is because I am a pot head sure. We all know that. Love my pot. I'll never change that about me. But at the same time, I want to, if you guys know what YouTube's all about, I want to, you know, I want to extend the scale a bit. I want to get different crowds. I want young crowds. I want old crowds. I want in between. I want crowds from different types of fucking all over the place. So I, I don't want to just stick to pot head crowds. I want to, I want to show everybody my talents. So I can't just center myself to one thing. I know it's fun to watch me get all stoned and ramble on like an idiot, but uh, you'll still see that. It's not going to change anything there. I mean, maybe a little bit less, but still. And yeah, I am going to try to stick with the paranormal hunting, um, but on our own time, right? Because there's a lot of other things going on right now at this time of year. It's Christmas time. I live in kind of a city where there's not a lot of popular paranormal hauntings so for me to get up and do that and just find random places is kind of difficult but we all know that for us something else somebody else existed on this planet right so there's people that lived on this land before us so if you think about it in that way If you think about it that way, you can pretty much see what I'm saying. You can probably, you can pretty much go 
anywhere and do an investigation, in my eyes anyways. Now, there are hot spots for paranormal investigations, if you're into that kind of thing. <coughs> but, <coughs> I think my next little, my next little thing, I might just take you guys to the cemetery and try to see what happens there, because if I'm looking for paranormal activity, that's probably, best bets, that's probably it right there, a cemetery or, you know, we'll check it out anyways. Moving along. So Ohio has been attacked, possibly a terrorist attack, which left a bunch of people injured and one critically injured, and now one spec suspect has been killed. So they're calling it acts of terrorism. So, uh, oh shit. But anyway, so here's a clip of that quickly, uh, of what's going on there. We've certainly heard that the uh, suspect uh, is down and is deceased in this case. Uh, and so uh, what investigators will try to do is find his uh, identification. Uh, who is this person? Was this a... Sorry. Yeah, so anyway, they're calling it a terrorist attack. I'm not sure what of magnitude that would be. But they, call, they got one of the suspects so far, apparently. So we'll see how far that goes. Keep uh, posted on that. Because every time I turn that day, and I don't really, well, I'm not a big guy for news. So for me to come out and try to fill you guys in on things is a little bit funky for me. Because I'm not a big news type guy myself. So... I just kind of pick and choose what kind of fucking rings. And really, I was on the news today, and I didn't see a whole lot. So I'm just telling you from what I thought was exciting about the news today. So, yeah, they're saying it's an act of terrorism. The one suspect's dead. There is another, I think. I'm pretty sure they said there was another suspect involved. But like I said, we'll try to keep you informed if you want to check it out. CNN News. Um, your local news should have it. Check it out. I'm not going to sit here all day and ramble on about that. <laughs> Don't mind me. i got to get my head straight for a second here because i got a little bit of weather to give you. Now, you can go spend $800 if you want to get yourself an electric nail. I don't know. I Like the shops I've been checking, they're around $700 for him, so... If you can get them for a better price, jump on it, because those things are nifty as hell. You don't got to sit here and burn fucking butanes and refill your shit every fucking, you know, other tope. You're, you're grooving. You just plug your nail in, and it's electric, so it's like... But it also... I think most of them run off a box. It's like an electric box. So you'll have your wire feed, your wires, into a box. You can kind of control your temperatures on it. <laughs> if you do, invest in one. <laughs> Which, if you like your dabs, and you're going to be a long-time dabber, I highly recommend you get one. But try to get yourself a deal, you know, a little bit less than seven or $800. It's it might pay off in the long run. Depends if you're if you're a pothead like me, definitely will. Maybe in a week or so. But well, that's the scoop there. If you get yourself an electric nail, this is tedious. It does work. You can get yourself a cheaper unit like this. And see, I, I go to toss myself back and forth, so I'm not always smoking the waxes, right? So for me to go blow eight hundred dollars on an electric nail is kind of I probably will, probably will, and I'll do a freaking review on it. But uh, that'll be in the future of things. Because yeah, I, I am smoking a lot more extracts actually nowadays, so I'll be honest with you, I'm probably going to have to move on up on the train. There's a nice fucking dab right there. Alright, so uh, today for the weather. 9 degrees during daytime and 5 overnight. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we're looking at a high of 12 
a low of six overnight. We're looking at a hundred percent chance of precipitation. Um, not sure what kind of precipitation. We might not even get precipitation, but I can tell you this: we're definitely going to have a cloud over either way you look at it. So, moving along on to Wednesday, pardon my language, we're looking at about 11 degrees during the daytime. Holy fuck, big joke. And an overnight low of 4 degrees. Another 100% chance of precipitation for Wednesday. Then we talk about Thursday. But ladies and gentlemen, does it feel like it's getting close to Christmas to you yet? Because it sure is feeling that way to me. <coughs> Sorry for reminding you. Anyways, Thursday rolls around. we got a high of 6 during the day. And an overnight low of 10. <laughs> So six and two, 100% chance of precipitation again. It just doesn't want to fucking subside. It just doesn't want to go away, man. It's that time of year, but it should be snow, damn it. I mean, maybe not. But snow, I can do all kinds of cool videos for you. Crashes and stunts and fun stuff. Friday, we got a high of four and a low one overnight and 90% chance of rain. In the forecast once again for Friday. Saturday. Sorry, guys. Saturday, it's starting to drop back in temperature. We're going to look at a high of four during the daytime and a low of overnight zero. So, low of zero over the nighttime and an 80% chance of precipitation. So, the precipitation chance. Starts subsiding by the end of the week. We're still up there. 80% is a pretty high chance of precipitation still. Fucking dumb. But anyways, it, by the looks of things, the weather might be breaking a little bit colder. I didn't look in the future of the weather yet. So I only got your five days for you right now. I couldn't tell you any past that. But I couldn't even tell you if any of that's going to even happen. Because that's always what they say. But then everything changes, right? I'm not a freaking barometer. I'm not a freaking forecaster, uh, but apparently I remember this show. But anyway, yeah, that's the weather for five days anyways. So yeah, fans, I apologize if I change the name on you it's like that, but don't, don't have any worries or denials because this channel, I am still going to put out everything I had from the beginning. I'm going to keep putting it into it. I just wanted to change the few things up for you know certain reasons and hopefully everybody stays tuned and stays subbed and hopefully any new subs stay tuned for the next hopefully uh we catch up with that fucking goofball that broke into my house there a couple days ago i'm not impressed by that man like i don't know what the fuck he's thinking or where he got the idea from but i'm on his tail i'll catch him i swear to god i will and god will be the witness to that but you guys will be too i can promise you so, wow, I'm done, I'm done, wow, I'm done. Always have to throw that in there, don't I? Anyways, so we thank you all for tuning in and subbing to our channel. And uh, like I said, no fucking stress, no fucking. We love you guys. Keep fucking tuning in. Keep subbing on. And uh, play her safe, anyways, because shit can happen. And it's Christmas time, right? Like it's. It's almost here. Wrong time of year to be fucking with me, man. Dig it?
But, uh... <coughs> anyway, <coughs> probably that's a probably about it for today. So, guys, subscribe, like, the comment, or content, content, or comment, and like below. Make sure you like lots of those. Like, 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 like. And, uh... Keep yourselves on the 909.